episode and Adia Mathis, and we'll open it up for questions. Adia, what happened on that last shot? What did you see? Um, I see an open lane. Um, the previous play, he tried to run on the ball screens and they trapped it and close the left foot off coming out and he got the one more flat. So it went able to um, trap the ball screens and um, it just took a one on one and I got past it and I seen a couple of trees and uh, <laughs> <laughs> shot it and it went in. So we got it in. The obvious question, what was your emotion when that shot went in? You know, I was excited, but then I looked up at the clock to see how much time was on it because I knew, uh, I was hoping that it would bust, but it had like four or five seconds left. So um, I just try to um, get back on defense and make sure they didn't get a quick job to um, win the game. So. Coach said you guys hadn't done a full flat. That was the first time you've run it all season. Is that true? Yeah. Um, when you called it for you, were you did you feel any fear or was worried or? No, actually I was going to um, try to request it because I knew the way was going to do another ball screen that's on the trap, and I was probably going to have to get the ball up and not want the ball in my hand. So. Um, he told me he said go to one more flat, and I knew that if I could just get past him, he had a shot, and he shot with him. So. The obvious for both of you all, just the emotion and joy of being in Tennessee. It feels great. Um, since I've been here, I've never been to Tennessee. Well, I'm actually playing, so I'm ecstatic, and I'm so excited for my teammates and my coaches and just our program. I'm really excited. Um, it's very exciting. Um, as she said, I've never been on the um, three years that I've been here. And just to uh, be the top 10 team and a great team like um, Tennessee with all the history and everything, it's just great. And especially since it's SEC win and winning every single one. So. Uh, for either one of you, what was the feeling like you get up to that 12 point lead and then pretty quickly they cut back into it? I mean, what was the emotions and what did the coach talk to you guys about? Um, well, basketball is a game of run, so um, like Ami said, Tennessee's a good team. We knew they were going to keep fighting until the buzzer went off. So coach was pretty much telling us to stay on the attack and to stay confident and keep bringing energy like we did the rest of the game and that eventually um, our hard work will pay off. Audie, is the one four flat pretty much just gave you the ball and wish you luck? Uh, <laughs> uh, kind of. Um, I think I'm pretty good going off the dribble, so um, just letting them stay in the baseline so they can't trap and um, you know do stuff like that to just give you a um, chance to you know play one on one. So um, I think it's a good a good set. Why do you when you, when you hit the three over Vicky Block and she fouled you? Were you surprised at when? Yeah, I just my day was like three two, and I just do it and. You know, I knew I got hit. I didn't know they were gonna call it, and just the fact that you know they called it and it went in, you know, it was just a great moment. It was just one of those games. <laughs> Kayla, when you see Audio with their hands on the ball in those late game situations, do you almost in your mind assume it's going to go? Oh yeah, definitely. I have a lot of confidence in Audio. She's a great player, and she's definitely um, a go-to player on this team. And with the ball in her hands, I'm very confident that she's going to make a play and do good with the ball. Audio, do you know how many game winners that is for you? I mean, there's been a couple since you've been here. Oh, I just, I just know two. What well, I have assist on. Like, to be my fellow junior. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one with Arkansas last year. Yeah. What does this win do for to either one of you the confidence of this team going forward? It is one SEC win, but it's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it just, I, like I said, it just gives us more confidence. Um, to be the team as good as Tennessee and, you know, the, before and on the start to the SEC, it just makes us feel more confident, makes us want to play even harder, play more aggressive and just play, you know, the second ball. So we're glad we got this win. Uh, I think my team is very, very hard and so it's very Three to one of you, um, what do you think this victory does in terms of a national perspective? When you beat Tennessee, people around the country notice. What do you think this does nationally for the program? Um, I just think it gives people um, aware that Kentucky is out there. We're coming to compete against whoever we play against. Um, it doesn't matter whether Tennessee, UConn, Stanford, whoever we're playing, we're coming out to win. I mean, this is also showing that the SEC is maybe more balanced because 36 wins, that's a long straight for a team, but obviously this is not that often. Yeah, definitely. Audie, where does a shot rank in your all-time basketball career? Um, it's up there. Um, just to have a um a game winner against a great team. Um, you know, a team that I haven't beat since I've been here in a SEC, a SEC game that we really need it and we want it. Um, it's definitely top three. So it's it's, it's very exciting, exciting. All the top three. What are the other two? Um, Arkansas was good because you know, um, it was 
it was senior night, right? Um, oh yeah, and I, you know, I want to take yeah. the senior class out last year with a big band. And so just to have them in on the home court, that was uh, one of the top three too. So I think it was they all jumbled. <laughs> Ever since he asked you to be more aggressive, it seems like some kind of light has come on. What happened, I guess? I mean, it's been three games and you've just been a different player. Oh, uh, I guess I'm just shooting all and making plays. Um, you know, they say all the time, you got to be more aggressive, you got to be more aggressive. But when he really sits down and talks to me with tell him, and he shows me how my aggressiveness in practice makes a big difference on how we play. And to see it in the first couple of games, you know, you got to keep going on. So um, I'm going to keep continuing being aggressive, you know, um, making plays for my teammates, you know, just trying to help us in any way we can. So. Matthew said he, he doesn't think that you know how good you can be. Do you think that's true? Oh, I don't, potentially, I don't. <laughs> um, I think I got a chance to be very good, but maybe he's bringing it out to me, so. Oh, uh, yeah, it seems like in the last, like, four or five minutes of the game, they were really overplaying you on defense, trying to prevent you from getting the ball, and that's kind of when they made their run, too. Was there any sort of a, almost desperation to kind of get the ball and, and try to take back over? Um, you know, they, they made it run, but, you know, at the end, we made some good plays to back them up. Um, I have all the confidence in the world with my teammates. If they want to deny me out to have court, then somebody else will know and make a play. So I wasn't too worried about that. I'm just glad we got the win over a great team. I'm just excited. Keelan, a couple more. Keelan, what's it like? I mean, you guys get this win, and then you look at the calendar, and you got to go at South Carolina, which is right. You've got to go at Georgia, which is right. I mean, how much time do you get to celebrate this? I mean, it's still like during the season, so we're focusing on the next game ahead of us. Um, if we happen to meet Tennessee in the tournament, well, I know we'll play them at their place, but right now we're just focusing on the next game on our schedule. Anything else? All right.